everyone likes new games. Obviously, new games are amazing and great, but you know, old games are just as good most of the time. But you don't want to play an old game that you love and then like replay it 10,000 more times. You want to experience something new. So you need a new old game. These are 10 Switch <laughs> games that need a sequel. Let, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my explanation is a lot easier. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> if a... you want a sequel to this video, you should totally hit that subscribe button so you can like you know, catch that video, we're gonna make it anyway, but we would appreciate it. So new old game number one, what's it gonna be? Astral Chain. This was actually the game when we were like coming up with the idea for this video, this was the game that came to both of our minds yeah. straight the away. The first one that both of us said. Astral Chain, new IP on the Switch, incredible game. There is so much they could do there. Take it in a Final Fantasy direction and use those Astral Chain mechanics and just take it into a completely different world. Mm -hmm. The story did wrap up pretty well, so making a true sequel would be kind of difficult, but the whole game actually starts with the world having already been destroyed and like the last of humanity is on this floating arc. So- Prequel. Right? Mm -hmm. That sounds like the best option to us. Hell, make the first Astral Chain the last in a trilogy. Yeah. So that wraps the story up nicely. Let's start it back a thousand years when this like war began, you know? The moral of the story is Astro Chain is a freaking great game and we really hope Nintendo doesn't just let that IP slip away. Mm -hmm. I've wanted a sequel of Astro Chain for ages, mm -hmm. but hasn't happened yet. Yet. Mm, yet. Dragon Quest Builders 2, okay, hear me out though. I know that obviously Dragon Quest Builders 2 is already a sequel and I'm not really pining over a Dragon Quest Builders 2 2 but a Dragon Quest Builders 3 would be quite nice. I think our second ever video on this channel and I'm not saying go and watch it because it's probably real cringe. Probably cringe. But it was a Dragon Quest Builders 2 video mm -hmm. and we were basically just like this is the greatest game of all time. And it's super underrated. And it kind of is. It it's, is. I love me some Dragon Quest and I'm ex super excited for Dragon Quest Monsters and the Adventures of Die that are coming out later this year. But Dragon Quest Builders just, there's something about that series, man. It's like Minecraft, but with an RPG that goes along with it. And it would be easy to make a Dragon Quest Builders 3 because with Dragon Quest Builders 1, they had all of the same mechanics and all of the same things, but in an entire new world. And they could easily do that again with Dragon Quest Builders 3. Dragon Quest Builders 2 essentially tells the story of Dragon Quest 2. Dragon Quest 3 is getting a remake this year. Seems like the perfect time to get on this. It does. Come it on, does. Square Enix. Make our dreams a reality. <laughs> I would be so obsessed with Dragon Quest Builders 3. Oh. Tom was playing Dragon Quest 11, Echoes of an Elusive Age or whatever. Definitive edition. <laughs> mm. <laughs> While I was playing Dragon Quest Builders 2 and we would have arguments <laughs> about <laughs> what one was better. And he was like, no, this one's definitely better. I was like, no, nah, there's no way. They're both really incredible games like mm -hmm. my top 10 games of all time both of those so we, we need a sequel getting a dragon quest 12 let's get a dragon quest builders 3 a trilogy i guess yeah while we're banging on about square enix i'm going to bring up one of our favorite development teams from that studio team asano we just got octopath traveler 2 this year but another amazing game that they released not long ago triangle strategy also deserves a sequel in our eyes. It's their entry into the tactical RPG genre. And again, this story wrapped up pretty nicely. We don't need a continuation with the same characters, but I'd really like to see the morality system, the training system, the battle system, the visuals, everything that made that game, the essence poured into a triangle strategy too. Maybe they could call it <laughs> square strategy. <laughs> Yeah, one more side. <laughs> Please don't do that. A new triangle strategy game with all new characters mm. would be awesome. Let's follow this trend of the Final Fantasies and the Dragon Quest where they're not necessarily intertwined. Just they tell a new story. Team Asano, we trust you. 
Just honestly, you're the best. Do whatever you want. I'm happy. <laughs> as long as it's a triangle strategy too. Mm. Or square strategy. I mean, why don't they go with the square any anyway? But I mean, a square's still got like four, so maybe they just need like an angle. They need to- Like a uh, like a 90 degree, just like two, two lines. I think you're not making sense. Either. <laughs> I realized that halfway through, I was actually shaking my head at myself as I was talking. Maths is a strong you know, suit. Uh, bring up a stop. square, she's confused. <laughs> Shut up. So Pokemon Legends Arceus hasn't been out for a long time, so maybe there is a chance that they're already thinking about a sequel. But I know they were kind of testing the waters with that game, weren't they? They were dabbling a little bit, trying something different. You know, they don't step out of the box very often. No, but it worked this time. It did, and yeah. I think that they could easily make a second Legends Arceus. Obviously not Arceus, it would have to be another legendary Pokemon, but they could basically adapt that game style into any of the generations. Mm, Legends Mewtwo. Legends Rayquaza. There's so many options. They could do a Legends with any of them and I would honestly buy it. We really hope that Legends isn't just a one-off kind of spin-off of the Pokemon series or like a two and done like Pokemon Stadium or hope it doesn't take like 20 years to get a sequel like Pokemon Snap. We really want this to be a regular thing. Mm -hmm and please be good you know don't be yeah. don't be a buggy mess don't be so glitchy this time <sighs> big ask apparently apparently yeah <laughs> game freak freak what the hell any anyway that is a whole nother tangent that we don't need to embark on right now so i know ubisoft open world games they've got their issues you know i understand it and i i know that some people had a lot of problems with this next title. Immortals Phoenix Rising. But for me personally, I freaking loved it, man. I thought it was great. I thought the humor was great. I thought the art style was heaps of fun. I thought the whole Greek God kind of basis of the story was really fun as well. So I would really like to see a sequel of this game. Whether we take the character of Phoenix, who we played as in Immortals Phoenix Rising, and kind of her journey about dealing with the revelations that came at the end of the story, that would be cool. Or maybe we just take it in a whole new direction and do an Immortals game based on maybe the Egyptian mm -hmm. pantheon of gods. Yeah, because they had the whole mythology thing in Immortals Phoenix Rising, yeah. and there's a lot of awesome mythology in the world. Absolutely. You they could, could do, do it with Greek. Yeah, Vikings. Norse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Egypt's kind of the one that sticks out to me, but yeah, anything. Use East Asian religions, Japanese, whatever mm -hmm. you want. I think that would be such a cool concept. I'm not sure how Immortals did on like a commercial level. It wouldn't surprise me if it flopped because it is on heavy discount pretty often. But yeah, I, I really liked it. I, I can't really explain why, but I, I really enjoyed my time with that game. So I don't know, let me know if I'm alone. Maybe you guys hated it. Maybe nobody wants a sequel, but I do. <laughs> this is our video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want one. Okay, so it's indie time now. Mm. So everybody put your indie hats on. Indies deserve sequels too. They do. And there's this one that I have been so obsessed with as soon as it came out. It's called Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion. And I feel like it is so underrated, but it is like one of the funniest games I've ever played. One of the funnest games I've ever played and one of the cutest games I've ever played. You know what? This video is kind of a flashback to the past because I'm pretty sure Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion featured in our first ever video. Again, not did. saying go back and watch that because that's probably even more cringe. <sighs> So Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion would be like an interesting one to make a sequel for. There's a couple of ways that you can do sequels, right? You can do like the same gameplay style in a new universe, or you can continue the story of one character. And I think with Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion, mm. you have to still have Turn Up Boy, right? Of course. Or maybe he's gonna be Turn Up Man. It doesn't have mm. much it doesn't have the same <laughs> ring to it. <laughs> But in Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion, the mayor turned out to be corrupt, right? So what I'm thinking is that Turn Up Boy 
he goes up in the ranks, right? And maybe now instead of taking down a corrupt mayor, he has to take down like the whole government or like the president or something, mm. right? Turner Boy commits tax evasion on a national level. Yeah. I think that's a fantastic I, idea, It would dude. be so badass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That has to be how they would do it, I think. It's such a good game. Honestly, if you haven't played that game, oh, you really must. Check it out for sure. So this next one is an indie game that is a little bit more popular. It's actually an Australian born and bred game, I will have you know. Untitled Goose Game. How good was Untitled <laughs> Goose Game? We played this one on stream and just had so much fun with it. It's just, it's stupid. But in like <laughs> yeah. the best possible way. Yeah, usually I don't really like stupid games that much, but <laughs> Untitled Goose Game is like the pinnacle. It's really good. You literally just play as a goose going around wreaking havoc on this neighborhood. And that's pretty much the whole premise. The physics are kind of a bit weird. It's, it's kind of a puzzle game. Mm. So you take that idea, you know, maybe we don't have to play as Goose again. Let's let's do an untitled possum game. Yeah, some other, yeah, you keep the same mechanics, mm. but you get some other mischievous sort of yeah, animal. some annoying animal. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like geese are like terrifying. They're like the pinnacle. But, yeah, they're terrifying yet benign, yeah. which I think is why Untitled Goose Game was so funny. So you'd have to find the perfect animal that is really not that scary, but is <laughs> extremely terrifying for some unknown reason. Yeah, would it be possums? Would it be raccoons? Oh, just some annoying little creature that's set out to wreak havoc mm -hmm. on the neighborhood. Something that you don't want breaking into your yard and stealing your underwear off your washing line. Actually, you don't want anything to do that, do you? No, that's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the worst thing to do that would be a human. Yeah, mm. I would much rather a goose steal yeah. my underwear than a human. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> A Short Hike is another game that has appeared on the channel before, actually. I think it was in the same video that Turnip Boy was in, possibly. Yeah, I think it was in that first video as well. And it is yet another indie game that totally deserves a sequel. So A Short Hike is essentially how it sounds. <laughs> it's a short game. It's got this adorable little bird and he's basically going on a hike. There's something that is so wholesome about it though, and there's tons of people that you meet along the way and they've got little mini games and tasks for you. And you've got to gain enough stamina to make it to the top of the mountain. They could easily do a similar thing with a similar wholesome storyline mm -hmm. in a different setting. There's a lot of beautiful places out there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be climbing a mountain. You could be trying no. to reach the other side of a, a park to, to meet a friend yep. or- Maybe you're going on a picnic. Wholesome. Ooh. Yeah, car breaks down. Yep. Through the woods. Yep, you've got to walk so. through the rest of the woods to get to the cabin, the lakeside cabin. Where everyone gets murdered. Yeah, that sounds a little bit more scary. Mm, so yeah, I, maybe I not think that one. maybe the picnic. We'll yeah. workshop it anyway. Yeah, good idea. The point is, a short hike is adorable mm -hmm. and it deserves an adorable sequel. It does. All right, so we're going to jump off of the indie train and get back onto the AAA titles. And you don't get much more AAA on a Nintendo console than Mario. I think you guys know where I'm going here. Mario Odyssey, honestly, could still hold that title of best Switch game and it came out in the first year of the system. It is a phenomenal title, not just for Mario, but in games in general. That sandbox, open areas, yeah. do whatever you want kind of vibe. It was so much fun. Give us an Odyssey 2, yeah. you know? Galaxy was a breakout hit on the Wii and we just had Galaxy 2 right there. Same ideas, just branch them out and you're good. You know, yeah. we don't need a from the ground up, Mario. Keep Cappy, just throw a couple more enemies in that Cappy can take over. Give us a couple new worlds. We would all be laughing. happy chappies, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely laughing. Honestly, I think if there's one game in this list that like, really like needs that sequel it's odyssey no but, astral chain oh yeah astral chain but nintendo has this like interesting habit of not giving mario sequels except super mario galaxy that i mentioned before but you know one can dream might be a bit too late in the switch's life cycle especially with wonder coming out i'm not holding my breath for this but i would really like it still 
And of course, another absolutely classic Nintendo mascot is Donkey Kong. Mm. We got Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and that was a really great game, like your classic Donkey Kong 2D platformer scenario, but it wasn't native to the Switch. The Switch mm. has been around for how many years now, and it hasn't had its own Donkey Kong game. What is going on there? It doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't, and it would sell like hotcakes, obviously, because it's Donkey Kong. I think it's about time. Yeah, it's really strange that there is no Donkey Kong Switch game and we just have a remaster of the Wii U one. Maybe it didn't sell that well. On the Wii U? On yeah, the Switch. Did. On the oh, Switch. <laughs> true. So they were like, ah. Uh, maybe Donkey maybe Kong's gone. You know what? Give us a 3D Donkey Kong. Right, let's Kirby do... got one, Mario got one. Let's give one to Donkey Kong. Right, yeah, let's go down that path. I would love to see another 3D Donkey Kong. Mm. But hey, just a sequel to Tropical Freeze. Is that would be good enough for me as well, mm. yeah. That's what this video is about. Mm. So there you have it. 10 Nintendo Switch games that in our eyes deserve a sequel, need a sequel. Mm -hmm. But we want to hear from you. We want to hear what games in this list or not you would be keen for a sequel for. Man, there is... God knows that there's a lot of Switch games just in our house and there's even more in the world out there. So there is plenty that deserve a sequel. Let us know in the comments below. It's actually a harder question to answer than you might think. We thought long and hard about this list, mm. but of course there is so many other options that didn't make it to our list. So tell us what you think that they are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everybody. We love and appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and we will see you next week. Bye. Peace. How can you have a sequel to a second? That's a third. That turns it into a trilogy. A threequel. Yes. That is the one. But doesn't sequel just mean like the next in a sequence? A sequel you know? means the so, second. So Octopath Traveler 3 could be a sequel to Octopath Traveler 2. I thought a sequel meant second. I thought it just meant the next one. No, I don't think so. Because so we have is the fourth, ideas about this video, is the fourth, what it should be. is like the fourth game in a series, the sequel? To no. the third? No, I don't. Yes. Hey Siri. 